Hello, this is Dr. M again for stoichiometry part two, and this will have to do with mole to mass problems and mass to mole. So now we're going to take uh, our problems a step further and bring back our molar mass calculation. So here we have um, problems. So again, stoichiometry stoichiometry is about predicting chemical quantities and so and we do this from given information in our problems so from the balanced chemical equation and then information that is given in the words of the problem so let's start we're going to do one problem here and we'll do one problem on the next page so here we have um, our first problem we have phosphorus plus oxygen and it's making tetraphosphorus decoxide, right? So this is a covalent compound. It follows the rules where we use prefixes. This problem is asking for the mass of phosphorus needed to produce 3.25 moles of the P4O10. So the tetraphosphorus decoxide. So in this problem, we are starting from moles and going to mass or grams. And then we'll do a problem where we go from grams to moles. So remember, mass is grams. That's what it, the units are grams, but we also talk about this as mass. And so what we do with all of these problems, we start with the given information. So 3.25 moles of and always write the formula. And then in this case, we um, now with our first step needs to be to convert from moles of, this is substance A, and we wanna go to substance B, which is phosphorus. So we're going to use our mole ratio. So mole of P4O10, we're trying to go moles of phosphorus. So, this goes, we're going through the land of the mole, right? We're converting from moles of one substance to moles of another substance. We're gonna look up here at the balanced chemical equation for the coefficients. And here we have a four to one ratio. And then our last step needs to be to convert from moles to grams. Okay, so we're doing, maybe over on the side here, I can write we're going moles of the A right, to moles of B, and then we do moles of B to grams of B, or mass, okay? So this is the generic um, progression of how we do the calculations. And now here, in this step, we're going to use molar mass. So we know, by definition, we can go to the periodic table. We find one mole of phosphorus is equal to 31 grams of phosphorus. Okay, so I rounded the molar mass to the nearest whole number for phosphorus from the periodic table. So note, up here in these formulas that are given for you, this, this stands for periodic table. That's your best friend, right? That's where you go to for information about mass of a substance. So now we have our setup here. We're going to do 3.25 times 4 times 31. And that equals 403 grams of phosphorus. Okay, so that's how much we would need to produce this many moles of the product. And the way I set this up, you can go back, right? You cancel all these units, cancel out, and you're left with the grams. Um, now this one is the uh, same type of problem, starting from moles and um, going, going to grams. Let's see, I'll do one here. I'm going to just do the one for oxygen. So note this is a two-part problem. They want you to find the amount of oxygen used and the amount of um, the uh, tetraphosphorus decoxide, how much is produced, okay, given this number of moles of phosphorus. So note, you can go from phosphorus 
you can convert from phosphorus, which is a reactant, to another reactant, or you can go from phosphorus to the product. So I'm going to do oxygen conversion. So we, we start with this many moles of phosphorus. This time I'm going to use railroad tracks. So you can see a different way you can set up the problem. Um, and remember, if we divide anything by 1, it's itself. So we can do this just as a placeholder to keep our given quantity. In the numerator, we'll be multiplying that by, we have the mole of, we're trying to go to oxygen. So I'm going to write mole of oxygen, mole of phosphorus, because, OK. And then I'm going to go up to my balanced chemical equation to get the, the um, coefficients. So there's 4 moles of phosphorus to 5 moles of oxygen. And then my last step will be to convert from the moles of oxygen to grams of oxygen. And remember, oxygen is diatomic. So on the periodic table, oxygen is 16 grams, but we have 2. So we have to do 32 grams. And this comes out to be 19.6 grams of oxygen. OK, so that's how many grams of oxygen would react with the phosphorus to make the tetraphosphorus decoxide. And in our calculations, all these units cancel. OK, so now let's go to the next page. And I'm going to go work in the opposite direction. We're going to go from mass to mole. So this time, we're starting with grams. And we're going to go to moles. So we're going to go from grams of substance A. So we have to convert that into moles of A and then moles of B. And so this will be, we're given uh, grams of lithium, right? And they say 56, 56 oh grams of lithium. And so we want to know, we have to figure out moles. Um, the moles of lithium, and then how many moles? We're actually trying to figure out moles of hydrogen. OK, so we have to go through the balanced chemical equation in the land of the mole to get there. So 56.0 grams of lithium. So what do we have to do first? We're going to do railroad tracks, and we're going to we have to use the molar mass. So here, we start with the molar mass, the molar mass for lithium. And so how many grams of lithium are in one mole of lithium? We have to look at the periodic table, right? So molar mass from periodic table. Um, and I can round that to 7. That's the nearest whole number. And then our last step is to go from the moles of lithium to moles of hydrogen. And so this is where we need our mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation. So I'm going to abbreviate that chemical equation. Um, and so let's see, mole of lithium to mole of hydrogen. So mole, so we have two moles of lithium. And then how many? We have one mole of hydrogen. OK, so one is not written, but we can assume anywhere there's not a number, it's one. Um, OK, and so the grams cancel. The moles of lithium cancel. We are left with moles of hydrogen. And then we just have to put in the calculator, 56 divided by 7 and divided by 2. And this gets us what? 4. So that one's very easy, 4. Um, but the only thing is, we let's look here. We have three sig figs. So this should be 4.00. OK, we want to go with sig figs. OK, so that's all there is to it. So we're using molar mass and mole the mole ratio or mole fraction from the balanced equation. And we use these to do the conversion from one substance to another substance.